Have you ever paused to ponder the sheer power of our sun? This glowing orb of gas, the radiant nucleus of our solar system, is more than just a celestial body that provides light and warmth. It's a veritable powerhouse, a nuclear furnace where hydrogen atoms fuse into helium at its core under extreme pressure and temperature. This process, known as nuclear fusion, releases unimaginable quantities of energy. To put it into perspective, the energy the sun emits in a single second is enough to power the entire Earth for over a million years. Now, consider that this vast energy can occasionally burst forth in a spectacular display we refer to as solar storms or solar flares. These are stunning, yet potentially disruptive, demonstrations of the sun's hidden might. But you might wonder, what exactly are solar storms and how do they occur? Solar storms, in essence, are like gigantic explosions on the sun's surface. This might sound like something out of a science fiction novel, but it's actually a natural occurrence in our very own solar system. So, what's the science behind these solar storms? Imagine a pot of water boiling on a stove. The heat builds up until it finally bubbles over. This is quite similar to what happens on the sun. The sun's atmosphere is a bubbling cauldron of magnetic energy. Over time, this energy builds up and, just like that boiling pot of water, it eventually needs to release. This release is what we call a solar storm. But what happens when this energy is unleashed? Well, it doesn't just vanish, it results in the emission of particles and radiation. These particles and radiation create a ripple effect through space, known as a solar wind. This solar wind can travel at incredible speeds, reaching up to a million miles per hour. Now let's break down the three main components of solar storms. First, we have solar flares. These are intense bursts of radiation that are so powerful they can briefly outshine the sun itself. Don't worry though, our atmosphere protects us from most of this radiation. Next up are coronal mass ejections, or CMEs for short. These are large clouds of gas and magnetic field that erupt from the sun's surface. They can cause geomagnetic storms that can disrupt technology here on Earth. Finally, we have solar particle events. These are streams of highly energetic particles, usually protons, that are ejected from the sun. These particles can pose a risk to astronauts and satellites in space, so solar storms aren't just spectacular to observe. They're also a fascinating study of the sun's magnetic energy and its effects on our solar system. This understanding helps us predict solar activity and protect our technology from potential disruption. So the next time you look up at the sun, remember the immense power it holds. Quite a lot to take in, isn't it? We've journeyed through the vast expanse of our solar system with the sun as our constant blazing guide. This fiery celestial body isn't merely the source of our daylight, it's a powerhouse, a furnace of nuclear reactions that generates the energy that fuels life on Earth. We've also delved into the intriguing subject of solar storms. These are not mere celestial fireworks, but powerful eruptions capable of shooting billions of tons of solar material into space at incredible speed. The science behind these phenomena is as fascinating as it is complex, involving magnetic fields, plasma, and the sun's own rotation. The sun's power and the phenomena it generates, like solar storms, have far-reaching effects on our lives. They influence everything from our climate to our technology, making the study of these solar events crucial. As we continue to explore the cosmos, the sun remains a constant reminder of the fascinating and powerful forces at play in our universe.